In this video, I'm going to address one of the most common misconceptions in the detailing world to date. Now let's get straight into it. What's going on? So glad you're here and welcome back to the Wilson Auto Detailing community. If you're a professional auto detailer who wants to become more successful and profitable in your business or just a car enthusiast wants to improve your detailing ability, then definitely consider hitting that big red subscribe button right below this video. So this is going to be a video that is really dedicated to the serious professional auto detailers out there. So if you are not serious about auto detailing as a professional, then this video probably isn't for you and you should probably stop watching like right now. But if you are serious and you are really serious about professional auto detailing, then you might be wondering, Luke, why are you sitting in your car right now? And the answer to that question is because I'm going to show you guys why I do not carry a water tank and I do not carry a generator. Because on this channel, I probably get at least one question a day where someone asks me, Luke, how do I carry a water tank and how do I carry a generator because I don't want to look like an idiot using my customer's water and my customer's electric. Well, lucky for you, idiocracy goes way deeper than having to carry a water tank or a generator. So guess what? I have been doing professional mobile auto detailing for the last seven years and I actually have so much business right now that I was just forced to hire two other employees going into the summertime because I cannot handle all this business by myself myself and I do not carry a water tank and I don't carry a generator. So let me explain why. For seven years I've been doing mobile auto detailing and for seven years I've been hooking up to customer electric and water. When I'm on the phone with my customers, the only thing that I ask from them is at the end of every conversation I say all I need is a water spigot and an outlet from you. And I've never been questioned in doing that even one single time. For some reason there's this idea that new, especially new professional auto detailers get in their head that unless they carry a water tank, a pressure washer, a generator, and use all of their own stuff, if they touch any of the customer's stuff, then they're going to be looked at as like less professional or maybe less with it or less proactive, not quite as taken seriously. And the fact of it is, that is not true at all. Once again, I do not use a water tank, I do not use a pressure washer, and I do not use a generator. I use my customer's water and electric, and I work out of my sedan, my Hyundai Sonata, and once again, the business continues to flow in, continues to grow to the point where I'm having to hire employees now. So let me show you guys just what an average day looks like in my car of carrying around just the average stuff that I carry to my normal about 65 to 75% of details. So this is a real list of real things that I carried actually today when I was detailing a Suburban and a sedan today. So I've got my rigid four gallon shop vac. I've got my toolbox that has all my handy dandy sponges, different razor blades, different box cutters, uh, different tools that I use on a regular basis. I've got a rug doctor sitting in between these things because a rug doctor works as a great extractor. Now let's go ahead and go to the other side and on this side I have my big wonderful bin of microfiber towels. Each of them are color coded depending on what job they serve. Below that I have my VX5000 steamer in this Tupperware bin which lets me do so much so quickly and get great results. Apart from that I have this other bin where I carry products that I like to try out that I'm not completely sold on yet that I'm testing for you guys on the Wilson Auto Detailing YouTube channel. So these are testing products, testing bins. Right here I have an empty gallon of super clean that I need to throw away. And in my trunk apart from having all these wood shavings from where I carried firewood just the other day I've got distilled water, I've got some purple power, I've got a lot of Kroger bags, I've got my dirty microfiber towels, I have my own 50 foot hose with a 25 foot attachment if I need it. I have two huge bins of products. There's one of these bins is totally full of products. One of these bins is full of some products, some buckets that I use, some extension cords, some different wheel brushes, uh, grill brushes, things like that that I use. And both of these 27 gallon tote bins fit perfectly with more space left in my trunk. So once again guys, the idea that you need 
need a pressure washer, a water tank, a generator that runs on gas, and then you have to you have to carry gasoline around with you. The idea that you have to have that in order to look like a professional or to not be questioned or looked down upon is really just a fake idea. I mean, it doesn't even exist. No customer has ever, ever, ever hesitated when I've said I hook up to your electric and I hook up to your water, probably because as you talk to customers, you get better at explaining to them what you're going to do, teaching them the nature of detailing, you're teaching them what you're going to do, the kind of service you bring to the table, and the more professional you can talk to your customer up front, then at the end of the conversation when you say you're going to use their water and electric, they don't even question you, and you can fit everything that you need into a sedan-sized car. It is incredible. Now can I fit all of my detailing stuff at one time in this? Well no, of course, but not every job requires polishing. Not every job requires paint correction. Not every job requires the extensive things that other jobs do. So this is an average day of tools and products that I carry. Sometimes I carry some buffers, sometimes I carry some DA, some rotary buffers, some polishes, some other toolboxes, but once again, I don't have to invest $10,000, $20,000, $30,000 in a truck and a minivan to get started detailing, and you're certainly not going to be looked at as less than a professional if you don't carry your own water tank. In fact, I would argue that detailers who start out with a water tank and then begin to vastly and dramatically improve their ability actually stop carrying water tanks and stop carrying generators because they use so little water and so little electric as they're detailing because they've gone back to the basics, back to the simplicity, back to the foundations that allow them to get great results very quickly, that they see a generator and a power washer and a water tank more cumbersome than it is actually helpful. Now, of course, for those of you out there who are saying you completely disagree, that's totally fine because at the end of the day, this video is 100% my opinion and it's 100% how I run my business. But running my business this way has proved to be very, very successful for me in the past, in the present, and it is looking to be very successful in the future. So guys, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, hook up all that stuff in the YouTube comments below because I always read those and I'm sure to get back to you guys as fast as I can. And of course, if you're new here, then definitely consider subscribing because I come out with videos all the time just like this on products, tools, strategies, communication skills, business skills, and so much more, all in an effort to help the pro detailers become more successful and profitable in their businesses. And on this channel, I share the exact strategies that took my auto detailing business into a full-time income with only part-time hours. So if that interests you, definitely subscribe. For those of you who are interested in getting your hands on some of these uh, tools and like organization tools that I use, I'll make sure to hook up in the description box below some links to Amazon to like the 27 gallon tote buckets, maybe the vacuum, maybe the toolbox that I use right here. Some things that I think would help you guys organize your stuff. If you want to buy anything like that, definitely use my links and use the Amazon links below because when you go through my links, it does give this channel a small commission, but it helps this channel stay alive so I can continue to give out awesome content just like this all the time. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and as always from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, keep working hard and I will see you guys in the next video.